A woman called the hotline and said her husband planned to kill her. I called the police, but the officer immediately called the husband saying, Look, if you do it, do it quietly. And I realized there was no hope. In 2018, one in three or approximately 35% of women worldwide have been victims of sexual assault at least once in their lifetime. Unfortunately, in countries such as Russia, domestic violence rates have not decreased. Around 40,000 Russians are victims of domestic violence every year and over 15,000 women die from being physically assaulted by an intimate partner. After the discovery of these startling statistics, one Russian woman decided she needed to make a change. Marina Pisklakova was born in Moscow, Russia. She is a researcher at the Institute for the Socioeconomic Studies of the Population. She studied aeronautical engineering and conducted scientific research at the Russian Academy of Sciences. Through this, she has began to discover the startling epidemic of how many women in Russia were assaulted on an annual basis. In 1993, Marina Pisklakova sought out to change this. Pisklakova was a Russian activist whose efforts changed the way that domestic violence was seen not only in Russia but globally. Because of her efforts, Russian officials began keeping track of the different acts of domestic violence happening in their country. They found only about one-third to one-fifth of battered women seeked medical attention. Sadly, these women had no support systems and nowhere to turn for help. This eventually led Pisklakova to create the first domestic violence hotline in Russia. Shortly after, she opened a crisis center, ANA, which stands for Association No to Violence. My organization was started as the first crisis center for bedroot women in Moscow. And because it was the first one, uh, very quickly we also became um, a resource center. We started doing training for other organizations. Recently, we started um, 800 old Russia number uh, which is free even from the cellular phones. And it's really a very exciting moment. Domestic violence laws in Russia are not as strict as they should be. In February of 2017, a bill was passed that offenders would not be criminalized unless there were serious injuries. Under the new regulations, first-time offenders are given a fine of approximately $500, detained for up to 15 days, or are forced to do community service. Marina Pisklakova states that, for aggressors, the decriminalization was seen as a message that violence is acceptable. She says victims took it as a message that it would be harder to get help. In local communities, there are many resources that women and children can turn to if they are victims of abuse. These resources are free, and without Marina Pisklakova's efforts, they may have never been possible. In 2004, she was the recipient of the Human Rights Global Leadership Award. Pisklakova's efforts have saved countless lives at greater risk to her own. Today, there are 170 ANA centers across Russia and the Soviet Union. Pisklakova combats violence against women and children. Women's rights are human rights, and Marina Pisklakova's efforts to change not only her country, but many others' views on domestic violence is empowering. Like many leaders before her who fought for women's rights, her influence will always be remembered.